Hey, how's it going, guys? This is your boy Yashve Gaming. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how you're gonna unlock the bootloader for Lenovo Z5S. Okay, so before you do this, unlocking the bootloader, make sure that you have securely backup and save that backup to a micro USD or to your PC. So, what basically, what you, what you wanna do, you wanna go to settings. And then you want to go to about phone okay inside about as you can see i've already on the chinese room all right so first i bought this room it had a global room so i flash it into chinese room so if you're looking for a video about a tutorial how do we flash lenovo z5s to chinese stock room i'm gonna leave a link down below in the video description okay i'm gonna link the video for you Okay, so once you in here, I want you to click on technical details and then where it says ZUI version, just tap on it a few times, like six to eight times. As for me, here it says no need because I'm already a developer. And then what you want to do once uh, you do that, so you want to back out, you want to back out again and then you want to go to general settings. Okay, in general settings, this is a developer option underneath accessibility will be unlocked. Okay, you're gonna see developer option. So you wanna you wanna tap on it and you wanna make sure that this one is ticked, this one is checked. OEM unlocking is turned on, and you wanna scroll down to USB debugging is also turned on. So I'm gonna switch to my PC right now and then I'm gonna show you the rest of the steps. All right guys, so we back, okay, I'm back on my PC. All right, so first thing first, what you wanna do, you wanna make sure that, make sure that uh, when you do backup, because in every phone, okay, there's a backup system. You can backup to your Google Drive or you can manually backup it. It's gonna save it uh, 81%. Uh, right now 96 percent and back up successfully the first time what you want to do you want to install this lenovo usb driver okay right click run as admin all right hit next next and then install i'm not gonna do that because i already uh, done that okay so once you've done that uh there's another one adb setup so this one, all you have to do is to run this as administrator. So this will pop up like this. Do you want to install the uh, ADB and fastboot? Type Y, press enter, press Y again, press enter. Do you want to install device drivers? Y enter again, and this will pop up. So again, I've already installed it. This is a driver for Google Windows USB. Okay, so once you see all done, okay just like this once you see all done just go ahead and restart your pc okay all right now visit this is zui.com forward slash i unlock okay so you can use google translate to translate this and here if you do check right here as you can see so listen carefully if your serial number is seven digits and letters Okay, you wanna add a zero at the end. All right, here you wanna enter your email, and right here you wanna uh, do this, do this for your IME. Okay, for your IME one, you wanna do uh, star this and zero six, and then this again. Okay, so you wanna do this on your phone. All right, make sure that you restart the phone. Say for example, you. IME one looks like this. Okay, say for example here. I'm just entering uh, random numbers Okay, so once you click submit application, you will have to create an account to Lenovo and then login into Lenovo.com Okay, after that it will let you uh, Submit Okay, the website Says like a limit reached okay please come back tomorrow uh, how are you gonna bypass this limit reach come so the answer is 
you're gonna use a vpn okay connect to anywhere south africa america and then as you can see right here submitted successfully and the after uh after like uh 30 minutes later like, and here it is i get this uh an email in chinese you want to grab that sn.emg um this the image file okay so just copy this or you can move it okay so once you install this adb setup it's going to get installed in your local dc and then you're gonna see a uh, adb folder okay so i want you to paste this this sn folder right there okay and right here i want you to press okay i want you to press on the shift on your keyboard while uh pressing on the shift and all you want to do is to right click right here okay and then you're gonna click on open in terminal or open powershell window here now we we gotta verify so adb space devices as you can see here it shows my serial number now i'm gonna do adb reboot bootloader so as soon as i press enter my phone should be reboot my phone will uh, reboot to the bootloader okay my phone turns off and it will be rebooted to the bootloader all right where you will see a start a green start button where and then uh if you read below you're gonna say press volume key to select and press power key to select you're gonna see false boot and the device state will be locked so it's false boot flash unlock space and then drag this sn to this all right okay so yeah that was fast as you can see bootloader run and now it says uh here it says finished total time blah 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 okay now we gotta do false boot okay oem space unlock hyphen go all right so you're gonna see this again okay finish and then your phone's gonna get restarted and as you can see boom uh i'm on zy 11 once again okay so i'm basically recording on my mobile phone right right now so i'm gonna go ahead and input my wi-fi password and voila guys the phone uh the phone is now okay ready to be used but it is in chinese language so i'm gonna have to refigure this out I'm gonna have to like watch uh maybe uh, i know it the gear button okay let me press that gear button to so the first one which is right here and then the first one again and then english united states right here okay so once i do that now the phone should be in english the language okay so now um yeah so i'm gonna have to remove all these bloat wheels like all these chinese apps okay so about and then technical details and then tap on the zui version until you are now a developer now i'm gonna back out back out once again and then i'm gonna click on general settings underneath accessibility developer options uh press only 
the PC. USB debugging, so I'm gonna click always allow and then allow. Alright, just like that. So now on my PC, I'm gonna and then I'm gonna check ADB devices. Okay, it is attached and then I'm gonna write A D B okay sp space reboot bootloader okay just like this and then I'm gonna hit the enter button so once I hit enter you, you can see the phone should now be restarted and voila guys boom okay the as you can see the device state should now be unlocked and then just press enter false boot space reboot press enter and it will uh boot normally to your normal os